John Decker from Fox News standing by to give us a, a bit of a recap of the weekend, the president's weekend, which did include, include Rudy Giuliani on the talk shows. Good morning, John Decker. Hey, good morning to you. How are you doing? Hope you had a nice weekend. Uh, we had uh, really nice weather yesterday, so that's always a plus. Excellent. Good, good stuff. Well, you had the president uh, up in your neck of the woods last week. Uh, the president's going to be heading to West Virginia tomorrow to do a campaign event. You know, he'd really like to turn uh, a seat that's held by a Democrat into a Republican Senate seat. And so the reason he's going to West Virginia is to campaign for the competitor to Joe Manchin. Joe Manchin's running for re-election in West Virginia, and the president is going to be campaigning for the Republican who has the nomination there. And over the weekend, the president was at his golf resort in New Jersey. Uh, not much happening there. The president uh, obviously took to Twitter quite a bit. And today, a lot of the focus here in Washington is on that Paul Manafort trial. You know, deliberations for that jury continue, and uh, we'll have to see what happens. We'll be following that throughout the day. It is, uh, I, I, I would imagine, this week and maybe even today the jury will uh, will come back. But they sent a message on Friday to the judge um, that was pretty clear. Um, we are, uh, we're going to be done at 5 o'clock and we're going home for the weekend, which... So some there is a a this is not an easy decision for this jury. It's well, I, you know, I, I've I'm a lawyer, so I've looked at all of the the counts that have been leveled against uh, Paul Manafort. There are 18 federal counts against him. Uh, the tax fraud charges against him are rather easy. You know, it's it's like either you de- declared the income yeah. or you didn't. It's right. pretty cut and dry. I think that those five counts, the jury can probably come to a clear decision. Uh, on the other 13, however, the bank fraud, the bank conspiracy charges, they're a little bit more complicated, and I think that's why they're taking their time on that. Uh, all right. So uh, being an attorney, uh, I have to ask you, when the when the jury takes its time and when it takes a, a longer when there's a longer deliberation, is that good for the prosecution or for the defense? Uh, well, you know, I'm going to tell you something, not just wearing my lawyer hat, but I'm going to tell you something wearing a hat when I used to serve when I once served as a foreman on a federal trial and we took our time and at the end of yeah. the day uh, we found the defendant uh, in a criminal trial guilty of everything that the government charged mm. that individual with so uh, I think it's really a matter of you want to get it right you're affecting yeah, a person's yeah. life one way or the other you want to get your get it right take your time and sometimes there's one individual on the jury that's a little bit more hard to convince, and you work on convincing that juror one way or the other, guilty or innocent, and that's probably what's happening with this jury as well. Going to be uh, interesting, and who knows, it, it is. Might, might even come today. John Decker, Fox News, thanks so much. Thanks a lot. Thanks for having me on. Have a All great right. day. You too. Thank you. Uh, he's great to have on, because, especially with, with like the Manafort thing going on, because he is an attorney.